I were to get you to sit right off on the edge of your chair so you're very uncomfortable with your legs are starting to hurt, it's really, you're starting to wobble a bit on that and I'll just leave you there for a bit. And then what we could do then is we could all put some different music on really loudly so it's all sort of really confusing and really noisy. And then get you to think of perhaps some of the worst things that have ever happened to you so that you're dwelling on something that's been really difficult, which is what these young people do. They've had terrible experiences the night before. They've had no chance to offload them, so they're still ruminating over those sorts of things. So we do all that to you, and then we'll start an A-level maths lesson, but we'll do it in Mandarin. And that's what school can feel like to these children. And that's the problem. If we don't look after these children's mental health and their sensory integration and their communication needs, then what's the point of putting a lesson in front of them? And what's the point of putting a teacher in front of them? So we're trying to turn everything on its head now and we start with the sensory needs, the communication needs, the mental health, and then we're ready to learn. And then we'll have some success. One, two, three, three! This is a scholar dairy in the town of Penarth, just outside Cardiff. Since opening its doors five years ago, it's now Britain's biggest special education school. I feel like a lot in education is the kids that are expected to adapt, but in this place, we'll adapt to them. For the first time, cameras have captured the reality of life in one of our most ambitious schools. Pushing the boundaries of what's possible in special education. We all just want them to do the best that they can possibly do and, and create some great memories. Basically, um, going to the indoor flow rider at Cardiff White Water Centre. Um, in the summer, we're outdoors. We've got we've got our own kit for surfing. But for the indoor stuff, it's just shorts, towel, and a, and a sense of humour. You ready? Yeah. You have not. We'll soon be half past. The activity is is the vehicle. The real magic behind the interventions is you're building bonds and relationships. It's finding something that a pupil likes and building on that to increase well-being, a sense of trust and a sense of safety. Without happiness, you can't learn, you can't do anything. That's got to be at the top of the pile. First experience is a key. If you get it wrong the first time, you don't always get a second chance. So when, when Lucy was going on, I'm like, oh, please, you know, please go well you know when you see her just smiling I think um, it's magic isn't it and, then, and, that, and it's those moments where you go that's why that's why we do what we do you know we've given them independence to enjoy an extreme sport essentially you know which is which is it's, it's mind blowing Fun, fun activity crosses over to life skills. 
would you like about surfing? Being out of school. What else? Doing no lessons. All the things that I like? Yeah. What do you want to be when you grow up? Oh, I want to work here. Yeah. You want to work here? The white was it? Yeah. It's like me, you want my job, is that what you're saying? Yeah. Because you're a better teacher.
So in the end, we've had to give in and go to another class and ring just so that he's answered the phone and then he's happy. Hello, Mr. Jones. How are you today? Hello. Is Mrs. Jones there? Uh, no. Is Ellie? And I have to put on a voice because if he knows it's me, that doesn't work.
it's just like an extension of me and he still sort of is one now. Luke is different. He's the only child that anyone knows of with his condition who's as physically and medically disabled, but the cognitive ability doesn't coincide with it. It doesn't make sense. So that is, that's one of his biggest struggles. So the medical side is difficult, but we can manage it. But having a brain that doesn't suit your body, that's what really gets him down. That's what's really difficult. And nine-year-old Sophie 
is ready to make her a Scholar stage debut. She started a Scholar in September and she came from mainstream school. She's, she's come on amazing. She fits here, she does. Because in, I think, mainstream, the children, they find it difficult to understand Sophie. So it's nice for it to be somewhere that the children accept Sophie and understand Sophie. Really excited to see her on stage, to see just how she's bonded with the children and how she performs with the children. So yes, very excited.
you want me to put that on there as well? Uh, yeah. He's always coped really well up until the last few years. He's He asks more questions and he worries about his health a lot more than he ever used to. He will often say he's scared, but he tries to protect my feelings. So he, he might say some things to me and I'll ask him questions and then he'll say, oh, I'm fine, I'm fine, I don't want to talk about it. But yesterday or the day before, he was asking me, am I going to die? So that's really difficult for him. Um, to be worrying about that when you're 15 years old and I can't give him an answer and no one can tell him because it's so rare we don't know he could live until he's 50 or he could live until tomorrow so that's really hard for him and for me I can't stand having to be catheterized and all the other stuff I had to have done to me I can't stand having to be catheterized and all the other stuff I had to have done to me. Okay. Yeah. Mm. We done? Yeah. Okay, we done. We can't change, he has to be catheterized, we can't change, he has to be field trapped in his chair. Um, at least you can tell people and you can address it with him and you can talk him around it. Um, and that's what will be important to him in the future, um, is we just try and talk him through these things and the reasons why. And even though it's taken quite a long time to get that, we've now got that from him. Um, and we can use that in the future to go forward for him and his, his mental well-being about himself.
lessons to this school. Put it in a bottle. Sell it with a book and a manual. I reckon I'd be a very, very rich man. Everyone, are you ready? <laughs>